Well, that right there is the Hobie Stupper Cart. And I've been using this types of carts for, oh, I don't know. We're coming on nine years now. So I think on any Hobie from now on, I don't think we're gonna use these carts anymore. I think we're going with uh, probably some kind of sea tug or cart that straps around the, the side. So that's unfortunate. First time I've ever cracked a scupper on a Hobie. So uh, I've got a lot of opinions on that. I should probably keep to myself because you know, that's how this world works. Anyway, so today is the second day of our uh, challenge or 30 species game. Um, today we're actually not fishing, we're sorting out warranty stuff. And for the record, it's November 30th. Uh, tomorrow, I'm supposed to head down to Florida. I booked all my campsites and stuff, so I'm gonna drop off some mail and prepare our kayak. We're gonna fix, fix the fish finder today on this. Okay, folks, today is December 1st. Uh, we aren't hitting the road just yet. Thanks to a wonderful company and a wonderful set of people. Um, great outdoor provision here in North Carolina. Right on my roof right now is a Hobie Outback 2009. Uh, this is a 2019 Hobie Outback. I have the luxury of using for now. The speckled trout and flounder are the two targets for today. So we're gonna fish that Outback, make sure we have zero issues with it. And then we will move onward. We got my warranty boat coming from Connecticut. I had an opportunity to try a different kayak brand, Old Town. I was very excited to do it. Um, I was just not too sure how much I would end up liking the boat, honestly. Being a little heavier, um, the drive system, a lot of things, you know, I, I got a little cold feet on. I just was not sure that was right for me. Nice morning, we only got till about 10 a.m. before we got some rain, and then we're gonna hit the road. So, one last day of local fishing, then. Let's give this thing a test run, shall we? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I can't tell if it's uh, faster or slower yet. I didn't put a fish finder on here yet. Um, it's pretty stable. I mean, the stability feels about the same. The seating position's a little different. The bow it looks like the bow sits lower. Feels like there's less bow. Maybe I'm wrong. First things first, let's catch some fish. And then uh, we'll put a fish finder on it tomorrow. They, I do like this idea. That's smart. Um, I'd like to see different versions of this. All right, we're not doing anything complicated at all today. It's the first time out in this boat. Uh, we're just throwing soft plastics. Got a couple of fish here. Creek mouth fish. Ooh. What is that? Is that a trout? This not a bad one by any means. Right. Nice. Let's see up and over. All right, that's trout. Trout time. Eighteen inch, seventeen and a half, not bad. All right, we knocked off speckled trout off the list here. First, first fish to be keeper is not a bad sign at all. all right. I really don't need meat. I'm gonna travel. You know, I could release them today. It was like a little spigot of current right there. I'm gonna try to get back on it. It's probably setting right up in that eddy. That's what that fish was doing. Now we need a flounder. And I'm gonna stick with the gulp because sure, I could definitely get a flounder on a gulp. Got him. Hey, we got some better fish here, man. The key with these trout is don't overplay them in terms of uh, how you. Uh, how you fight them. Hey, these ain't bad, man. Pretty good quality fish.
a little more challenging than the dinks, you know? Uh, hey, hey, hey. It's another pretty solid one. 18, 19, not bad. It's working a um, 3 8 ounce jig head with a gulp swimming mullet. There's no like crappy fish around, so I can use the fancy plastics, thankfully. This is the everyman's fish, a fish for everybody to enjoy. Kids, adults, everyone enjoys speckled trout fishing, if you ask me. Fairly abundant. The smaller ones are, you know, relatively easy enough to catch. If you want meat, you can catch all you want. The bigger ones, the bigger ones seem to be very elusive, and I'm, I'm into that. I like that. The challenge of finding that 28, 30 inch trap, it's probably, the, it's, probably it's awesome. All right, just jigging away, picking away. Weather's gonna come soon, I bet. Oh, oh. damn. Vengeance. Hit with vengeance, my friend. Nice fish. Nice fish. Hmm. Pretty nice one, man. Solid 20 inch. Well, that, that's our fourth keeper. That's a trout. I'm guessing he is. He's probably a foul hook him. What did I do? I did foul hook him. It's that old Brooklyn, uh, you, you can move from Brooklyn, but you can't take the Brooklyn out of the boy, unfortunately. Oh, he's got a scar. There's a, another keeper right there for sure. Most likely. Seems like all trout fishing to me is about finding the right kind of moving water. Like, what's the right water? And this might be it. Probably my biggest trout to date. One of my biggest ones. I don't got to measure him, but it's probably about 22, 23. Just a four inch swim mullet. I think it's a 3 a sounds DOA jig head. And we're just letting it hit the bottom. I don't know. It's exactly like flounder fishing, really. Fluking, whatever you want to call it. I don't know how much water I have. I'm not deep, I know that. All right, so that's the last Carolina video for a little while. We're hitting the road right now. It's noon at December 1st, and uh, yeah, not bad. I like those trout, man. They're, they're not the hardest fighters, but it, it's a combination of things that first you have to play them right so you don't pull the hooks out of their mouth. Overall, the Outback, all right, so let's talk about the Outback quick. Um, so far, as a backwater boat, I like the new Outback. You know, as a, as a non uh, rough water boat, so we tested it in backwater, fish calm conditions. It turns a little better than the old bow back. It does track a little bit better. Do I care about the extra width? It feels wider. It definitely does. Even though it's just an inch wider, it for some reason does feel wider. Maybe it's the proportion of the width. Um, 
and uh, but other than that, no, it was pretty good. That was not bad. Not a bad platform to uh, to do what to do what I did today. That was a pretty good platform. Um, so next two tests is uh, ocean and rough water. So and then you get my full. Then you'll get my full opinion of the outback, the new outback. But so far, not bad. All right, uh, let's put the camera down. We'll catch up when we're on our next development. Probably hitting the road for Florida, you know, tonight.